last week and do a one-on-one -on -one with her and then she hit it the next day so it's kind of like one of those things um melissa will you tell a little bit about yourself please yes i um, am a former high school math teacher i taught for 10 years um, and then after about a year with Beachbody, I was able to replace my teaching income and come home full time. Um, I have three bio kids and one um, bone slow boy who we're in the process of adopting right now. So um, hopefully that will be soon. <laughs> um, but they're nine, six, two, and one. So we have a um, fun filled house. Um, 13 years married this summer um, and just so thankful that I found coaching because I always wanted to stay home and never thought it was possible. And now I get to be home with my boys. So I love it. So fun. Thank you for letting me put you on the spot. I just wanted you to kind of get to, everybody get to know who you are. We have so many teachers. So it's really fun. I know Kelly was like, ah, me too, like teacher <laughs> and four kids. You definitely relate. <laughs> so perfect. Thank you so much. So, okay. So I know we were saying that we were going to have a speaker, but I felt like we had to really talk about Summit. And I know we wanted to talk about that with a speaker, but I feel like we could do that also afterwards. And I think we actually have somebody afterwards. All these calls are kind of going together in my brain. Obviously, Summit is on my horizon. <gasps> Chris, is your baby there? Sorry, we have to stop this. Oh my gosh. What is he, like two days old? Four days old. Okay, well, you just hang out, Mama. You're good. You're so sweet to jump on this call. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> well, you look amazing. You're glowing. So fun. Okay, so let's talk about Summit because obviously next week, and just a reminder, we will not have a call next week. We'll all be traveling. Well, actually, I'll already be in Indy waiting for y'all to arrive. So, my question for you is as far as Summit goes, okay? what are we going to do? A, like, let's talk about what, what are we going to do to set up our coaches for success going into summit? So a couple things, if you don't mind and Steph, if you have something you want to say, just raise your hand and I'll unmute you since you're driving. Um, but what things are we doing now to prepare our coaches for coach summit? Oh, come on, Shannon, go ahead. Yeah, we're excited. So um, we are doing a, a Zoom call tonight to prepare and get ready. Um, we've done a team house the last couple, well, this is like our third year. So we're doing a team house. Um, so yeah, I mean, mostly for, for our team, like I want to sit down and like talk about like what our intentions are for Summit. Um, so instead of just going into it blindly, like, you know, having an intention of what we want out of it, um, and then, you know, I always think it's good, like, if you have a notebook to take notes, like, leave the first, you know, four pages blank with aha moments, and then have the rest for notes. Um, so, anyway, that's kind of what we're going to do. Perfect. Super simple. Super to the point. But I love that you have a vision of what you're going to do. What else? Yes, Melissa, go ahead. Um, for me, my, I remember my first summit, like I came home and I stopped working for two weeks. I was so overwhelmed. Like I was like, I can't do this. This is not for me. Um, and so for me, I'm taught like getting with my coaches individually. I mean like, okay, when you go in, I want you to pick two or three things that you're going to implement, like warning them for the post summit crash, because a lot of them are like me and I don't want them to like stop working. And we've been doing a lot of PD to get rid of the comparison game. Cause you have all of those like top coaches up there who hit the huge milestones. And so just kind of like preparing them for that. We have like 20 girls going, so I'm super excited. And we're going to do like team dinner on Friday night and um, just kind of get that community, but mainly just take it all in, but only apply two to three things. No, that's beautiful. I love that you brought that up. And I feel like that's the biggest thing that either my coaches go from like here to here and they're like, crazy or they just fall off the edge of the earth. So I love that you brought that up. Kelly, do you want to go? Um, well, I was just going to say one of the things that I found, this will be my third summit. So the first summit, um, like I remember flying home on the airplane and um, I had like just so many thoughts and I really wanted to be able to put it all down on paper and you're like in this bubble when you're at summit and then you come home and like you know, for me, it's like, okay, now I'm back to being a mom and I have four kids running around and all that. And so 
we decided last year that we, as a team, were going to stay an extra day. Um, so we stayed an extra day in New Orleans, and we did, like, a team huddle that whole next day. And we went to a coffee shop, and we brought all of our notebooks, and we just went through everything, and it was amazing. And we did some sightseeing. We went on a swamp tour and, and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing again. We're not flying home until Monday. Um, and Sunday is all just for our team um, to hang out together. I actually only have eight coaches going because so many of my coaches are teachers and we're still in session, so they couldn't get the day off. Um, but I just, I love the extra day to just kind of unwind and be together while all of our ideas are fresh. And then when you get home, you feel like you can really like go back to, to life again. For sure. Let me just say eight coaches is still a good number. So I know that's probably less than what you want, but eight is still a really great number, but I love that. So obviously it's too late to probably implement now, but keep that in mind for the next summit. I love that huddle afterwards and even just doing something fun as a team. Ah, that's so good, Kelly. Thank you so much. Jazz, Steph, Chris, Chris, if you want to, if you want to say anything, Chris, you unmute yourself, but I'm not gonna, you just kind of hang with the babes. Um, but Jazz, Steph, what about you ladies? We actually, I'm fortunate to have um, Danielle. She's doing a whole break, like summit the last day, Sunday. We are actually all meeting. Um, she got a room in the convention center. We're all meeting to kind of brain dump everything. So she's doing that. Um, and I'm having a team call with my team tonight uh, to talk about summit. Cause I have like 12 people going that have never been. So um, yeah, we're just kind of, I don't know. It's going to be, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about it just because it's a lot of people to kind of keep track of yeah. when I'm going to be going all different ways, but I think it'll be fun for sure. But the fact that you're doing a team call and you can introduce people if they don't know each other or just really, yeah. you know, in, engage with each other beforehand. But I feel like take a couple of these things that what these ladies are saying and just implement it back, you know, like the notebook and like, just like setting them up for success with it, I think is really smart. And she's talking about Danielle and Tony. So Danielle and Tony, she's part of that upline. Um, like my boss, Doug's going to be there to obviously brainstorm as well. So I, he told me about that as well. So, um, really cool things obviously are, are going down, but I love that. Thank you, Steph. Is there anything else you want to share with it? I don't think so. Okay. You're good. What about you, Jazz? Um, I think, uh, our, we have, we have about like 13 girls that are going and, um, I like that, um, you'd mentioned, um, it's really hard to track of everyone you know so one of the things that i um we're gonna have like a zoom call, a team call together and really talking about budding up you know and really having that short community like even with someone so like that if you're never you don't feel alone and then you know encouraging them to also build connections with other coaches you know like i know that these are the great times where you get to meet and build stories and and it feels so real you know because to me when i go to summit it's also that moment where sometimes we get so much in our head but then we meet other like like real people and those are the moments where i feel like if they can do it i can do it too you know so um, at word, I'm just gonna like encourage my coaches, um, and then like I like the the zoo, uh, no comparison and just taking those small little action steps because yeah, it can feel very fast paced and overwhelming and wanting to be paralyzed. But I think if we set if I set them up with the two things with the, taking two things to take away from, I think that will help them a lot. But definitely that team call. That we're doing. For sure. I love that. I love the budding up system too, because, and I would say this to you, Steph, if you don't set something like that up, they're going to rely on you and you're going to be pulled in 8 million directions. So kind of find a way to like, <laughs> and that's why I, you know, we have like four, well, we have four different rooms and I kind of told them, um, these are your people for cause the four people, the three people that are staying with you in your room, like those are your people to kind of stick with. So for sure. 
Very, very cool. Okay, so I wanted to, I'll share one as well because I had Moira on my um, five to eight star diamond call this morning and she brought it up, which was really cool about just, you know, a couple little things to make sure of. And it's, it's the same thing that you were saying, the notebooks, keeping the first one to two pages completely blank and those aha moments. But really, and she said those five to eight things, and I know you're saying two to three, whatever your number is, but five to eight things that they're going to implement immediately and then just push everything else at the waistline. And so that it makes me think of when I went to Tony Robbins and I filled this entire book and guess how many times I've opened up that book since Nel nada zero, zero, zero. Cause there's too much content, too much information. Right? So it's kind of like, okay, like finding that way to get them to immediately work when they get back. And it's going to come down to you and more. That's the next question here is like, what are we going to do after summit? So that was the before. Okay. So then after summit, what, and I'll share what she said with, with that, but what are your, what are your ideas after summit? What are you going to do with your team? Yes. Shannon, go. We're doing a diamond dash. I'm so excited about it. So it's me plus five other star, star diamonds. Um, it's going to go for eight weeks long. Six weeks is training. And then the total is eight weeks to get to diamond, adding six coaches and two emeralds in that eight week time. And, um, we're going to do like two sneak peeks and a live power hour every week. And anyway, I'm super excited. We had our first meeting yesterday, so it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Okay. I love that way to create action. Um, I'm doing that sneak peek group with Shannon as well, but Another thing that I told my coaches who are going is I'd like them to um, <clears throat> each sign up for a team call in the month of July and August and take the most powerful thing that they learn from Summit and teach it to the team. Um, you know, like we know that when you teach something, you learn it better yourself. So I feel like it'll help solidify what they um, learn to, for them to implement in their own business and then to share it with the team so that I'm not always the person leading team calls and hopefully that'll help them develop some leadership skills too. For sure. So that is for the month of July and August. Is that what it is? Okay. That is really cool. I hope you write that one down, ladies. Don't come back and teach everything, please. Let your team do it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. What else? After summit, what are we doing? I'm not looking because I'm writing. Anybody? Yeah, I'm doing a dash to diamond too. I mean, um, I think I'm taking, I think it was one of the calls in here, right? Where she's do it. She does like a diamond. Internship. What did she call it? Diamond yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm doing that too, but with everybody that's pushing to diamonds, I'm doing a dash to diamond, but then just with one person, I'm doing that um, internship thing. And I, oh. I love that you brought that up because I actually brought that up to Melissa last week, right, Melissa? Am I trying to rack my brain here? Okay. And it is one of my, my most favorite things. And Carly did share this. So if you weren't on the call, but just that, like, take that opportunity to run with one, to give them the tools for success that, um, you know, and literally it's 30 days. And the fact that she's done it four months in a row and each month she's popped a diamond because of just that one-on-one -on -one engagement. But the, the thing that I love the most is that she offers that Zoom call one time per week and she goes in with no agenda. Like she's like, hey, what do you need? And she allows them to step up and to lead. And it's an opportunity for you to be like, hey, this is your turn now. Because as you know, if you baby too much, they're not going to take the lead with it, right? So Steph, I love that you're doing that. And, you know, I've had some leaders that have multiple leaders that are very similar. And Carly did this actually on her fourth month was she paired up two together and then they can kind of, you know, go off of each other as well. So I would just say it is a really, really great process that has been working well for so many leaders. Um, so if you haven't implemented that yet, just keep that in the forefront. Um, you could do your first month as a trial month. Hey, and if you have two leaders that are running and gunning for big things like, Hey, we're starting a new thing called the diamond internship. The first one is going to be these two. And then from there you can apply for it and put the questions out there. Like, okay, what am I going to ask? How many months in SC? What are your recruiting numbers? How many hours are you working per, um, per, per day? Why do you deserve to be, or why are you working towards diamond? And why do you deserve to be in this internship? Like literally ask those questions so that they are aware of like, Oh, okay. Like this is legit. Like I need to apply for it. Right. 
And it's a good conversation too. If somebody's like, Oh my gosh, I want to do this, but yet they've fallen out of every single thing. They've never shown up for anything. It's a conversation piece of like, you know what you dedicate for the next 30 days and you show up every single day to work your business. We can put you in the loop when it comes, you know, on the next month or whatever. Like it's a, it's a good conversation. So Steph, I love it. Sorry. That was a long winded thing, but I'm just, I'm loving that diamond internship so much right now. Perfect. Okay. What else after summit? What's the plan? Could I get in more information about your diamond internship? Like what you guys talked about, do you have a recording of that? Oh, it was our last one. Wasn't it the last one? Yeah, for sure. I'll go find it. Cause I would like to be five star by the end of July and I have a girl in my second CBC. So we're going to do that. Okay. You got it. So how about this? If I don't send it to you within five minutes, when we get off message me, I haven't eaten lunch today yet. So I'm like, okay, probably need to do that. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Um, also, this is one thing that Moira said, and I loved this is just make sure that you set an opportunity to have a one-on-one with every business leader within your organization or your personal sponsor coaches, you know, after summit. So that one-on-one get on the phone. I know we're doing everything in the group and that's perfect, but if somebody really is going after an individual goal or, you know, shares a ton of interest, they come back from summit, like literally, well, first of all, I would tell you this, they're most likely to work the business if they're going to summit. Okay. So even though there are some lifers that show up for like the SC trips and stuff like this, that don't really work the business. Thank goodness that's kind of changed now. Um, give them the benefit of the doubt that they're going to work this business. You know, maybe it's taken a couple of years. They've gone a couple of times and haven't really applied it yet, but give it, you know, literally give them the opportunity to work this business and see where they're at, what they're pushing towards. And it's your opportunity to be a leader and be like, you know what? You've come back every single time for the past three years. You say you're going to do this. It hasn't happened yet. What is different this time? And really find a way to hold them accountable and just kind of calm out of their crap. You know, a good coach, a good mentor will say, you know what? Uh, you've said this before. What's different now? You know, because I want to hold you accountable, but I'm failing you if I don't hold you accountable type of thing. Okay. So set um, a one-on-one with your business leaders as soon as you get back. Um, what else? Anything else strike that? In that? No. Are you guys excited for Summit? I'm so freaking excited. Chris, are you going? A little bit? M- maybe. Um, we're going to double check with Southwest. They told my mom, someone told my mom the baby needs to be 14 days old and he'll just be 13 days. So we're going to double check. Oh, and maybe change our flight to a day later. So you're a bad A. I um, my friend, my success partner just went to Hawaii when her baby was seven days old. Kelly Burnham, and um, they let her fly. Yeah, really. My husband had earned the trip, and it was a scheduled C-section, so they knew like when it was going to happen, and so they called ahead of time. And it, I don't know what airline it was, but they had no problems, and she had she was there for seven days with a seven-day-old baby. Wow. I mean, that's what happens when it's your third or your fourth, right? You're like, I got this. Isn't it her third or her fourth? Third. Okay. Well, oh, that's just, yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Well, hopefully we will see you, my dear. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we have before summit, after summit, obviously so many things are going down. Please check the app. If you're kind of like, okay, I'm not sure what's going on. Check the app. Um, we're all, it's going to be warm. I will tell you right now, have you looked at it? It's going to be warm. Um, but also inside is very cold. So it's one of those ones that it's like super hot outside, like Vegas. And then you go inside and freeze your booty delicious off. So make sure you pack some, some layers. Um, cause you'll want to take those off. Um, I'm trying to remember, come and love on me and see me as soon as possible. And I say that because I fly Friday. My sister gets married on Saturday. <laughs> the one day a year I'm like, do not get married on this day. She gets married on June 23rd. So I literally am flying out Friday early afternoon itch. So come see me as soon as possible because I would just to be able to love on you. Um, what else? Ooh, let's talk lift four real quick. So we had a launch, right? Obviously yesterday or a pre pre launch. Um, but Tell me, what are you ladies thinking? How's it going? How have you created engagement? If you haven't yet, you're fine. You've still got plenty of time, but talk to me about it, please. Yes, Melissa, go. Um, I created a sneak peek group for my entire downline, and I posted like all the videos from Joel in the back office and then talked Mm -hmm. about what the challenge group was, gave benefits of Shakeology, like went live and talked about the performance line and just kind of went through that, told them what they get in a challenge group, um, 
And then we did the, I offered like a live Zoom workout, but I also posted the link for the free one. We had like a hundred people in there and a lot of people are like, they're loving it. So we're getting that going. And then I also post it on my personal page, like the next 25 people who put a heart in the comments, I'm gonna send you a free workout. And I'm getting people who I've never spoken to who are reaching out to me now. Um, and I just sent them the link for the free workout. And so we're getting conversation going, but just getting interaction has been yeah. awesome. Okay, well that sounds really, really great. Do any of you wanna pick her brain on that while she's unmuted? Or you're, you're fine, you can mute yourself, whatever. You're, yeah, Jazz, go ahead. For your um, your sneak peek, are you doing all of the videos or are you asking your leaders to also talk about like energize and shakeology and stuff? Um, I did the videos for the majority of them, but they're going in and like interacting with people and okay. posting their thoughts, if that makes sense. I had just um, thrown it together at the last minute and so I didn't want to be like, hey, do this now. Uh, but they have been going in and like responding, commenting, and sharing their thoughts if that makes sense thank For you sure. no that's good okay yes shannon or chris whoever unmutes first go okay i'll go <laughs> um that's yeah that's awesome so when you send them the link are you just getting their email and doing the share card to it or how does it work no because you can um they don't have to purchase anything to get the free workout and so i just send them i send a message hey thanks so much for commenting on my post i'm so excited to share this with you this program is i say a little bit of lifting some hit cardio and then some abs um and give a little bit of information and i say here's a link um this is what and i give them instructions because they have to go to um the i mean it literally says like um preview or something like that. It's right on the screen. I say, click on that, watch the video, and then we can chat more about it. Um, okay. And so then I like put a reminder my, um, on my team Z to check back with them in a couple days. Um, so, yeah. Okay, cool. So they're just sending, you're just sending them straight to Beach Beachbody On Demand then, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, I remembered that, but I wasn't sure how you linked it to you. So that's cool. Okay. What about you, Chris? I I was going to ask something similar if she was sending directly the link for the workout or adding them to her sneak peek and having them access it there. But you, you don't have to, and I think I saw someone just share it. You actually don't have to send them to Beachbody On Demand. You can send them the MOV file workout too, by the way. Yes. So, I wanted them to look at Beachbody On Demand oh. to see that there was more to offer. Um, that way, if they don't like the workout, they're like, whoa, there's all of this stuff as well. But that would be good too. It's awesome. I just pressed on it and I was muted. Thank goodness. It all of a sudden like blast the little workout. Um, no, that's really, really, really good. So what I would um, ask you all, if you're filmed behind on the, on it, you're not just remember it's not till July, but it's the prep work that you're going to do now that obviously will really help. So I love that idea. Melissa, thank you so much. Who else wants to share about lift for what have you been doing? Um, we have the hybrid calendar. I think it was from Beachbody Champions page. So um, we're doing the same, a coach sneak, or not a coach sneak peek, a, a lift for a sneak peek. And um, I opened it up to anyone in my downline. We're adding people. Um, I really like the idea of the post, though, with the 25 people. I'll do that to get more people. Um, but we have a hybrid calendar posted in there so people know that once you purchase, um, you know, there's something to do with you. And so then we're opening up a group. Um, and actually we were just having a conversation this morning via messenger with some of my coaches, how we like the date that we actually want to start that because with summit, we didn't want to start this week. So we're going to start, um, the Monday that we come back, um, from summit. And I do, I have a couple really good graphics for lift or I'm happy to post on our thread when this is over. Jazz would love that. Did you see her little dance? She's like, I can actually do it right now. Perfect. I, I have. Perfect. Thank you. No, that's good. Okay. What else? Steph, do you think? Um, we did the, our entire downline. We did, um, the sneak peek too. So we used all the information from the back office. Um, and now we are kind of doing so yesterday was the first launch day so um i posted in there 
you know, make sure you comment below. We're giving away a, a box of bars um, for the, we're putting them in a drawing um, if you comment or screenshot your order. So we've had like, gosh, I think it's up to like 40 people that have ordered. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, people are really excited about it. Like all my runners that have always said no, they're um, now coming back saying, yes, this can work with my training. Um, so yeah, it's been, that's cool. It's been really good. No, that's really good. I saw a couple other people raffling off like beach bars and stuff like that. So that's a, a great idea. And I love the fact that you're also, I mean, keep in mind, like, yes, you can put it out there, but who are the people that need this program that do, you know, other trainings? Like, I will tell you this, like I, this is the best program I have ever done. And I know that's so hard to say because there's so many that we love, but I'm literally on week eight. We did Lakes Day and I will just tell you, I was like, Oh, you can tell us week eight. Like that was hard. Like it literally tries you, but it's the most amazing thing. And guess what? Tomorrow is rest day. So I go out and I run in the morning. Like you could actually start to do things that you want to do. And it's hard. I'll just speak from personal experience. And I know all of you, you know, stay true to it. You work out six, seven days per week, but I will be honest with you. When I leave the office, it's hard for me to press play at home. I need to be like around people doing fun things. And so this allows me actually to work out and then go live my life and do other things. So, and you don't have to be perfect on it. You know, I travel on a day. I don't work out on that day. I just then work out, you know, another day. Like I have not in eight weeks missed one workout because if I missed it, I just shuffle it to the next day. And it's like, it's so free, like so free. So what, um, Rachel Harshfield, that's the one that you were talking about, Kelly, that, um, did the live training in the Beachbody Champs last week. And she posted the, um, hybrid calendar in that, but she talks about it. Moira talked about it today. She's like, this is the first one where you buy back time to do things, especially summer, you know, with kids, like, gosh, I can't wait for you all to try it. Okay. Sorry. That's my little tease, but I just love it so much. Um, um, the girl on my team is a nurse and she's been targeting like shift workers who work three days a week, three twelves. And like all of my nursing people are like flipping out sorry, because they can finally work out and not yes. feel missed again that makes sense yes for sure and you're good you have your hands full but thank you for chiming in no it's so true so think about the nurses the teachers the i mean whatever it may be so stinking good okay cool well ladies um is there anything else i mean left for i would just say this get behind it a thousand percent it's like what i said earlier on a call with another coach, I just said, but don't lose focus on to be mindset. Like literally, you know, if, if, if you're talking to somebody just because we've moved on and that's what we do, we're so great at squirrel. And it's like, like all of a sudden just flip it and that one's gone. But just remember every single time that you bring up lift four, does it make sense for that person? Does it make sense for that customer? You know, and I would really just, you know, it's if you can get to the point where you're talking about both and it's like, what one strikes your interest more? Are you needing to, you know, a new mindset change with food, nutrition, because that is the one that will keep the lifers around forever. I will tell you that right now. Just a reminder, that was our biggest launch to date in Beachbody history was to be mindset. So I don't want you to miss out on that because it is so incredible. But I would also say just improvise out in with every launch coming forward. It's like, okay, do we need to start with to be or do we need to start with a specific program? Okay. Like literally don't lose focus on it. Keep it going. Keep it on the forefront. So then you can be that one-stop shop where you can help people in every realm of life. Okay. And be ready for the announcement at seven. That's all I can say. Okay. Um, what else do I need to say? Nothing. I think that's it. Is there anything else, ladies? Anything else you want to share before I see your sexy buns in Indy? Kevin, don't laugh at me. <laughs> You can't say that to coaches. That would be very awkward. Okay. Anything? I don't know. You should hear this. Keyshawn's like, no, you can. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Well, thank you, ladies, for popping on. Melissa, thank you for being on our very first call. We'll have a speaker on our last one, and then we will regroup after 4th of July and just start doing new things. Does that sound good? Okay, ladies, thank you. I appreciate you. Let me know if you need anything in the meantime. Talk to you later. Bye.